Welcome to tkgas.hosesel.com. Today we're going to be working on uh, UCCM, which is uh, Cisco Unified Communication Manager features. Um, we're still going to be working on um, Headquarter and uh, Branch 1. And we're going to be doing uh, Charac Call Park, Call Park, um, Intercom, and Busy Landfill. Okay? So let's, let's go ahead and work on uh, direct call park. So uh, go to your call manager. And it's going to be under call routing. Go down and find direct call park. Click on it. Nothing is set up. Add new. So the number that we want to use it, we're going to use 777 and the retreat retrieval number is uh, asterisk seven 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 but we're not gonna put seven 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 in there it the asterisk is just gonna when we wanna pick up that call we're gonna press that and then we're gonna press seven seven now we restrict that uh, call park that is placed in there but anyway let's get back to what we supposed to do okay so seven 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 and you can give it a description if you like. And position to leave it none. And right here, we just need an asterisk. Okay. So I'm going to save it. Okay and see we can test that out now so uh, let's go ahead and bring headquarter phone one and bo one phone one and test it out and let's say we're gonna call you five zero zero one phone and we're gonna answer it from here then we try and transfer it to it and we're gonna dial that uh, direct pop call direct pop uh, call pop number okay and you're gonna transfer and it's placed in the pop call now call pop so say if I have another phone that's set up Say so this guy wanna restreet this guy car, so he just need to pick up the number and dial asterisk seven 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 seven. There he connect to it now. You see? So that's pretty much it for how to set up a direct uh, call park. Let me end this. Okay, give me a second. Be right back. Back. Sorry about that. Got out of key this um, this morning. Uh, try recording this video with it, so I'm gonna be pause of that, you know, cause uh, I hate allergy. So uh, anyway, we already finished setting up um, direct call park, and um, next we're gonna do a uh, call park, and uh, we're gonna use the call park wrench gonna be in uh, 3900 to 3902. Okay. So let's set that up. So we're gonna go to car routing and we're gonna go car park. Nothing set up, add new. And the range they want to use is 39. And this is how you do the range, okay? Bracket 0 to 2, that means it will end at 2. So anything uh, start with. Um, Three nine zero zero. It can be three nine zero zero one between and three nine zero zero two. That's the last number. It's like that's three number in that range. So I'll give it a description if you want. Okay, and petition to leave it none. Cisco Unified Communication Call Manager. Make sure you have the one that is on. My publisher is on, so this guy's on, not the subscriber. Save it. Okay, now we can go ahead and test it again. 
okay and same thing we're gonna dial 5001 dial answer it but instead of um, but in, let me mute this but instead of um, transferring you just need to go ahead and find the sub key the cop um, the pop sub key call pop and then just hit it and I'll send you it see now the call pop is at 3900 this is the number you use to uh, pick up that uh, call pop that's placed in there so say this guy he says pick up and dial 3900 there you go he, he pick up that pop car so that's pretty much it setting up um, car park okay and uh, give me a second again sorry about that okay uh, back. uh anyway we finished uh, car park setup so our next one we're gonna do is intercom uh, which is we're gonna use headquarters from one in the com directory number we're gonna set as seven zero zero five and branch all ones will be from one not from three um the directory number is gonna be seven zero six so they can you know in the com with each other using those number so, okay so let's go set it up uh first thing we're gonna do is go to call routing go down where you see intercom and we're gonna start with uh, intercom route partition we need to make a partition for that nothing is made so go ahead and create one and call it intercom partition intercom save it and uh, after you do the partition you go back to call routing go down where say intercom and you're gonna go to intercom call and search space and you're gonna see um, this one usually they auto generate it for you if you don't if you don't want it you can always create one so I'm gonna use it let me take a look at it see inside they already put your partition in the com that you created in there ready for you so you know you don't have to create one so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, device, device setting, and we're gonna go to um, phone button te template. Click on it, and we're gonna find the phone that um, you know that gonna be using this uh, button template. So that phone is gonna be the model that I'm using right now for the cell phone is um, 7961 skinny so this guy right here I want to click on it and make a copy of it and then just go ahead and rename whatever you know I'm just gonna call it features save it and then I'm gonna you you can put like um, whatever in in um, the button like the six button on it. So uh, I'm just gonna put on three. You can put four, five, six, or two if you like. But I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm gonna go ahead and use four. And we're gonna find intercom. Click on intercom save it okay go back to your phone device phone and we're gonna do with let me see again uh, okay headquarter phone one is 705 okay so we're gonna go to headquarter phone one and we're gonna go ahead and change the button template to feature save it and then right here in the com on button 4 we're gonna click on that 
and we're gonna put in that number seven five zero zero right oh seven zero zero five okay don't need oh you do need partition with that in the com click on it and call in search space and go down with say you know how to enter right here I just usually give it a label um, intercom 706 because I'm going to press that and it's going to call to 706 which is the branch 1 phone 1 intercom phone and you do need to set the speed dial phone I mean the speed dial number with this call to 706 okay save that and go back and do the same thing for uh, branch one phone one okay change the template button save it and then go to your intercom dn this guy is 706 and select partition console space and give it intercom 705 which you're gonna press and it gonna call you that number and speed button is 705 save it okay let's go ahead and bring those two phone up here we go it's on button 4 and on branch one phone one is on button four so so you press the headquarter phone you press in the com it's gonna ring this guy see they're on now they're on now as you can see it's working okay so that's pretty much it for setting up in the com okay so the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go ahead and set up a busy um, landfill, which is um, BLF short, short way of saying it. Uh, we're gonna set up that um, BL one phone one is uh, gonna monitor headquarter phone one, you know. So that that was busy landfill for pretty much like a monitoring um, thing. Give me a second, the dog ball so uh anyway let's go ahead and set up um blf so the first thing we need to do is go back to the the phone button template that we created uh let's go ahead and find it it's right here and we're gonna give it i'll oh, use button six and we're gonna do a speed dial BLF save it and we're gonna go to your phone again and and we're gonna use phone let's say BL1 phone 1 to monitor headquarter phone 1 and right here number 6 and we're going to select the directory that we want to monitor, which is headquarter phone 1, which is 5001 internal partition. And we can give it, give it a label we like, PLF uh, 5001. Save it. And close it. And let's go ahead and see. If, um, there we go. It have it. So every time this guy pick up a line, this guy will lit up, saying, you know, this guy you making a call. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Okay. here see something going on 
all right um, the reason that it cannot see the it cannot monitor uh, headquarter form one is because I'm pretty sure it's in the the partition that this guy that couldn't see you know so um, but the speed dial is working test that the caught through uh, so you know so in order to fix that it's pretty simple I'm just gonna go ahead and put that um, um, console space headquarter well you can test it with uh, branch one let's go ahead and put that in there and see I'm, I'm pretty sure that will uh, make it monitor it okay so I say new car and nope let me go ahead and put the other one in sometimes you have to play around with it you know it's a good way to practice and learn to see what's going on okay so let me go ahead and reset the phone give me a second okay so uh, pretty much is the partition on the DN line that is causing the problem so what I did is I go back and you know take out those partition on um, on the, the two the two phone headquarter phone one and uh, branch one phone one take out the partition and um, and phone one right here and redo the BLF there to put in uh, 501 without that internal partition so um, so now it can monitor see it's time this guy uh, off hook this guy will know you know see the light right here so that's pretty much it for uh, busy lamp fuels um, so uh, that's pretty much it for the feature for right now for um, for car manager so uh, thank you for watching this video hope you follow up for other video thank you